Hello guys, today I want to show you how to perform calculated fields in the live wire. As an example of our live wire quick admin panel, I received this email from one of our customers with a question in this example, how to calculate the field of amount multiplying the quantity by unit price as an example of invoice. And I've recreated that project here locally. This is how it looks in my browser. And I will show you exactly how to do that really easily in our live wire quick admin panel or you can do that in your live wire code without our generator. So in our case, we have live wire component of invoice detail create in app HTTP live wire invoice detail create and all the object for all that invoice detail data is this one invoice detail variable. And then we have create blade of that live wire invoice detail and each field is just input with wire model. In fact, wire model defer what it means to have defer. I have a separate video on this one and I can link that in the description below. And every field is wire model to invoice detail dot something. In our case, it's quantity, unit price, and then there's amount text field, but it should be calculated. How to do that automatic calculation. So for example, when you type in quantity one here and unit price one, two, three here, this would be automatically calculated. To do that, we need to catch the event or so-called hook of live wire called updated. So we can just create public function updated. An updated method has two parameters of key and value, basically which field was updated with key and what is the value of that key. And we should check if in array key of what fields we need to monitor invoice detail dot quantity and invoice detail dot I think it's called price no unit price unit price so if we have key in those two one of those two then we do this invoice detail equals invoice detail what's the calculated field amount equals this invoice detail quantity times this invoice detail unit price so basically we're assigning the new value and then that text field would automatically be refreshed with that new value. So that's all we need to do in the live wire component. And also in the create blade, we need to remove that defer, then it will enable the live validation and live updating of the fields. So on unit price, we remove that defer and on quantity, we also remove that defer. Now if we refresh our page, let's have some item name quantity two, for example, or 21 unit price is one, two, three. And as you can see, it's automatically calculated. That's it. This is how easy it is to update one field based on another field with live wire as an example of our quick admin panel.